So it's common for ABR part three to discuss BED or biological equivalent dose. And so to see a very common, very simplistic question related to this, you may be shown the equation and ask, what is it and how is it used? Name all the variables in this equation. And then for us, what is this bottom term and potentially how would you use it in your clinic? So our BED, this is essentially going to help us determine what two different fractionation schemes are going to provide the same effect. So clinically, you may think about two different fractionation schemes, a certain dose per fraction for a certain number of fractions. And if those two schemes have the same BED, they are going to achieve the same effect. This is often done by physicians to determine what they may want to use, but could also be but, you know, beneficial for physicists as well to either double check them or do our own calculations as well. So D here is the dose per fraction, and this is in centigrade or gray, could be either one. Also N, this is the number of fractions that are delivered. And then this is the alpha beta ratio of what we are considering in question. So for example, this may very well vary whether you're considering the PTV, the type of tumor, a lung, whatever it may be, that is what this alpha beta ratio is going to be. And so those are all the variables and how you would use it clinically. So now this bottom is the generalized equivalent uniform dose. So this is less commonly used, but it is a dose that if given uniformly to the entire organ of interest is going to yield the same complication rate as the dose distribution. So to achieve the same tumor response, with lower tissue dose. That's ultimately what we want to do. And we can graph and use this ultimately to do treatment planning and just verify optimizations and that our plan in fact is going to be delivered accurately and just plan to the best of the ability. So this is dependent on a alpha value. So this alpha value ranges from negative 40 all the way to 40, but it, it can't be equal to zero. So if you have a low alpha value, this is going to be something like a parallel organ. Now, if the opposite is true and you have a high alpha value, that's going to be a serial organ, something you really want to protect and that you can't exceed that dose limit for. So for example, for GEUD, your alpha for the PTB, this may be equal to something like a negative 10. Whereas you're prodded because it does have a, you know, it's a parallel organ, you have a couple of those, uh, that may be equal to one. The chiasm, for example, that could be something like 16. So unless, uh, it's not used as much in treatment planning, but I think it's important definitely for you to know BED, how it's used clinically, and even that you could use some and do some simple calculations using this on the test. And then GEUD is something that is beneficial for you just to know in case offhand they may ask or you get questioned about it. So if you have any questions, please comment below. Happy studying and best of luck.